Hey everybody, how's it going again? I hope you guys are doing okay out there. It's been a trying several months that we all been going through. So I, I'm glad I got out of the house for a little while, not too far from home. But anyway, I've been charged with 10 quarantine questions by Chuck and Cheryl of Get Gone With Us. We did one a while back, but it wasn't about quarantine. It just gives you a little insight about who we are, what we're all about, and what we're trying to achieve in life. Let's get started with these 10 questions. So the first question is, how many, <laughs> how many rolls of toilet paper do I have at the moment? Well, it's kind of interesting because I would have dreamt a few months ago that I'll be borrowing, or borrowing I should say, not borrow, I didn't borrow any toilet paper. <laughs> but I didn't think about borrowing any between my neighbors, between toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and face mask. I wouldn't have dreamt that I'd be doing a, an exchange of that between my neighbors. And my neighbors even bought toilet paper. But, but other than that, I got about maybe, about four more rolls to go. <laughs> And then I got to go and restock again, but I couldn't believe the price of toilet paper when we first went through this epidemic, but I got about four rolls, I think at home, maybe five, four and a half, something like that. <laughs> but that's what I have for right now. <laughs> Number two, what has been the biggest change since the lockdown? Well, since the lockdown, I lost weight, I lost seven pounds, I went to go see my primary doctor, so that's my biggest change. I don't know if that's good or bad, but my doctor thinks it's great, but I lost seven pounds, so that's my biggest change since the lockdown. Num number three is where I'm currently parked a docked. Basically, I'm not full time yet. I won't be going full time until the end of August, part of September, but I'm pushing for the first, second week of September, but. Right now I'm in my sticks and bricks and I'm gonna be there for the next, you know, until time to go. But that's why I'm currently docked in my sticks and bricks. Number four, what have I gone without recently? Well, I have gone without coffee. I love coffee, but I have a lot of my things inside of the current Tim Rover and I didn't have a coffee pot in my sticks and bricks. I could have bought instant, but I didn't want to buy instant and I didn't want to go to Dunkin' Donuts every day. So that's what I've been without recently is coffee. So hopefully get back into the kick again with have some decent coffee and, and just enjoy the, the scenery that you see behind me. It's just relaxing. So that's what I've been without recently. Number five, <laughs> what am I most grateful for? I'm most grateful for just living it just waking up every day because there are so many people in the last several months, and you guys know this here, that made their transition. Even what's behind me is Kashmir Pulaski. We kind of celebrate his day here in Illinois. So it's kind of cool to see that people who are pushing to make a change, you know, they can have monuments like this here and Lincoln Memorial and things like that. And we can say, hey, this is a change and things gotta be different. So I'm most grateful for living, to be alive, and just to be out here talking to you guys and just enjoying the rest of the time we have on this planet. So number six, what do I miss the most? I miss the most just being around family and friends and just fellowshipping together. I miss that um, because we've been watching you know, the last several months of the sports channels and things like that that's been going on for you know, reruns of you know, 2018, 2017 reruns on network channels of basketball games and football games and just old, just old stuff we've been watching. So I am going to get back into the groove of just being around friends, family, and just seeing what's going on today, not yesterday. We need to move forward because that's what life is all about. So number seven, how long has it been since I've been at a campsite? Well, that's been since last year. I went to Elkhart Campground in Elkhart, Indiana, and that's the last time I've been at a campground. That was around, oh my goodness, maybe August, September of last year, something like that, but that's the last time I've been to a campground, so I really want to get back out there again and just enjoy more camping, because there's nothing like camping and having a great time and enjoying this wildlife that's behind me. 
been great. So I'm looking forward to that again. Number eight, what was my favorite quarantine food? Well, my favorite quarantine food was bread, cold cuts, basically cold cuts, I should say. I've been doing a lot with bread, making French toast, um, just toast in general. But it's been cold cuts with roast beef and turkey and ham and, um, oh my goodness. I even had some bologna. I haven't had bologna in a long time, but I have some bologna. But it's been cold cuts with some cheese and lettuce and mayo or sandwich bread, whatever the case may be. So it's been cold cuts, but I kind of like cold cuts anyway. <laughs> so number nine, how am I doing with working out and exercising? Well, I've been good at my exercise there, as you can see. This view you guys see behind me is more of my, my backyard, where I can come to anytime I want to. So having something like this here a few minutes from the house is not too bad. But when I get out here, I just walk around and enjoying the sights. It's just a great day as well. So that's what I've been doing is my time of working out. Oh yeah, downsizing too. Moving things from the Salvation to the Salvation Army, to Goodwill, to the Rig, you name it, that, that's a workout within itself, as some of you guys might know out there. So I've been getting my exercise in. So the next person I'm going to challenge, because I think this is all the 10 challenge questions that we do have. I think the 10th one is to nominate someone else. So what I'm going to do, since I nominated him about six months ago, I'm going to see if he has some time to do it again. I nominate Lou from RV Heaven. I'll put a link above. You can check out his website as well as his YouTube page. And you guys can get an idea of what Lou is all about. So it's kind of cool to get to know a little bit about us in the RV community and what we do, what's our cause, and because then God knows a lot of stuff going on, as you guys know in the last several months. But I nominate Lou. But until then, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up if you like, the subscribe button below. I'll bring you other tips, tricks, ideas, innovations, little tidbits, whatever case may be. Even these 10 challenge questions to the, to the channel. But until then, you guys take care. Have a good day. See ya. Bye.